Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, I've been recently playing around with Rust a little bit, just because, I don't know, I want to learn it a little bit better. I also have a few project ideas and I figured it would be a good idea to try a new programming language. Um, and, you know, the, the normal installation instructions for Rust are a little bit concerning, uh, but they're, they're fine. But I wanted something that was a little bit more self-contained and a little bit more familiar to me as a Python developer. So if you're a Python developer, you work with virtual environments, this tool that uh, my friend wrote might actually be kind of nice. And that tool is called RustDev. Basically what it does is it creates a small prefix environment similar to a virtual environment uh, that installs Rust, Cargo, et cetera. Uh, that way you can try it out without having it send, uh, you know, put a bunch of stuff in your home directory, which you may or may not be okay with. Um, you know, if you're going to do Rust a lot, it might make sense to just install Rust globally. Uh, but I find that this little tool is kind of nice. So I wanted to show you kind of how you can go from zero to just a basic Rust program uh, using Python tooling. Um, so I'm going to start by making a virtual environment. <laughs> and then from that, we are going to pip install rustenv. And that's the, the tool that I talked about a little bit earlier. And if we do Rust env rmv, uh, this will set up Rust. Right now, it's not configurable with version, so it'll always install Rust stable. Uh, a lot of people like to use Rust nightly. Maybe that'll be an option to this tool later. Uh, but it's really just in its infancy right now. But it works well enough for, for me, for what I, what I need it to do. Uh, also, <laughs> we haven't fixed the output yet, so kind of ignore this value. Uh, yeah, it needs, it needs some work, but it works basically the same as a virtual environment. So if you dot rmv bin activate, this will, uh, put you into a Rust M. So now we're in a Rust M and a virtual M. If I do like which Rust C, which cargo, which are kind of the two, uh, two of the common tools that you use when working with Rust, you'll see that I don't have them installed on my system. But if we do which Rust C over here and which cargo, you'll see that we have, you know, the tooling from our REST environment. And just to show you getting set up with a small uh, little sample hello world, we can do cargo in it, I don't know, hello world, for instance. And it will have made the uh, basic skeleton of a Rust project. We CD into that and we look at our cargo.toml. Uh, you'll see that we've made a hello world package. We don't have any dependencies. And it's made us a nice little main.rs. And we can actually already start by doing cargo uh, cargo run. And that will compile our binary. And you can see that we get our hello world output. Now, I don't like hello world. So we're going to change this to something a little bit more on brand. Uh, we can do hello, hello world. And you have you know a basic uh, little Rust development environment. Uh, but anyway, wanted to show off this cool little tool and uh, let you know that I've been doing some Rust stuff on stream. So maybe that'll be interesting for you. Anyway, if you have additional questions, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.